Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. My dad walk on. Man, another dollar, another day, another something, another way, right? Yes, man, sir. we got a we got a hey man, we got a young man in here today, a special guest, man. I, hey man, I've been I, I I start I start researching you, and I seen you, man. I was like, man, this dude's something special, man. I appreciate real that, talk, man. man. BFG strap is in yeah, the building. I appreciate baby. that, man. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? He here, baby. He yeah, made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love I love uh, I love what you're doing. I've looked at the interviews. I looked at I listened to the music. I we needed something. I and I think you that's something that we need, real talk. And I'm not just telling you, because I'm hard on everybody. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, I, and usually I don't like the music. I ain't going to yeah. lie to you. A lot of times I, I like, dang, man, you know, this one ain't it. But, yeah. I mean, I even started thinking about little Baby. When I, when I looked at you, I was yeah. like, man, this dude got this dude young, and he, he's talented. I appreciate that. It's our love. It's our love. For yeah, sure. yeah, for sure, yeah. For sure. But I want to know where the name BFG Strap came from. Man, my name came from, like, BFG was like a um, like a group that we put together when I was a kid, you know, like How it's still old? like a family, probably like 15, okay. 14, something like that. And you're like, it's all still a family, so I still go by, you know, BFG, but my name was, they used to call me Nooski, like, but I ain't really like my name like that, you know what I'm saying? They, used to, they just started calling me, you know, Strap, so I just ran with that, and then they call you strapped because you always strapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I tried, tried to put it in a different way. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, but they call me strapped because I'm always strapped. That was a good one right there. And then yeah. you spelt it with a double A. Yeah. That's creative. I like that. I think, I think, thank you, thank you. It's because I'm different. I just want to be different. You hear me? I just want to be, I, don't, I ain't want to do it. And like, really, I don't even know that's nobody named strapped. Mm. I don't really know too body. Like, I mean, know too many people that's. Me neither. The name just strapped. You feel me? So. It's like when I pick my name, it's like not too many people name like other rappers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got they, everybody got a unique name. You know what I'm saying? So my name got to be unique. I ain't wanna. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, ain't, I ain't never heard nobody say strap before. Yeah. Before I, before I became strap. So no, you. It's dope, but then bro. with a person with that name, you think that they're gonna always be rapping about guns and stuff like that. Yeah. So is there? Because you do have that in some of your music. Yeah. But is there ever going to be a time when you're going to elevate from that? Yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to do right now. I've seen some already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I got I got some. I got some. I've seen out, some. That's what that, messed me up about you. Yeah, I got some out that, 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 that'll, that'll refresh the memory on that on that level right there. You know, but, like, I'm really, I, I really got some in the vault right now. A lot of music that's different. Like, I really rap different. Mm -hmm. Like the way I rap, like I can talk. Okay, look, everybody rapping about the same thing, regardless everybody. But it's, it's the way you rap. It's the, it's how you rap. It's delivering your flow. Mm -hmm. If you got a unique style, you trying to be like him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like it, I feel like it don't matter what you, you feel me. So, mm -hmm. but yeah. then um, the reason why I was asking you that because you're gonna always have that name. For sure. But then you're gonna try to rap something different, For sure. you know, because that's why some people. Because I remember when Fat Pimp came on here, and he was like, he wanted to get rid of that name, mm -hmm. because a lot of people when um, they look at him, they'll be like, "Are you really a pimp?" You know what I mean? Yeah. But then, and as you got older, you want to go to schools and talk. Mm -hmm. But with that name, you know, sometimes they look at you a certain way. Mm -hmm. But he he didn't, you know, he didn't do that anymore because of what some. Paperwork stuff? Well, not only paperwork. I mean, he learned to live with it. Sometimes things happen and you yeah. learn to live with it. And yeah. the, the city had already embraced him as that, so it's right. hard to step away from that. But um, West Dallas, you 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 from West Dallas yeah, from originally. West Dallas. How long? How old was you when you left West Dallas? I was like, probably like, mm, probably like nine to 10. Nine to ten. Yeah, about nine to ten. So you, like you, you remember where you was at over there, Rupert Circle, yeah, Fish Trap, Rupert Circle. I okay, just, I just drove through there yesterday. Did you? Yeah, I think not drove through there today. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Apartment two. Yeah, shout out my I had a partner named Kane over there, man. Yeah, like, I love yeah. I love where it's at, man. I love where it's at. Yeah, and my cousins, cool. all of them I always talk about them, man. The uh the Rambos, all the Rambos, my people. Uh I probably gotta yeah. I probably gotta go. Oh, oh you go they back. older. They Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Gambling okay. niggas, man. Oh, exactly. Yeah, all them niggas <laughs> gamble, <laughs> man. They, they gamble on everything they do. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, nah for real. Nah, <laughs> so, for real. But let's go back to before that. Um, I know you were born in prison, right? Yeah. And how did you go into foster care after that, or did you go? Nah, with, I ain't going. I ain't going to foster care because my dad had uh, twenty four hours to come get me in Houston. And dad is only four hours, so he he drove the car to come get me. And he raised you. My nah, like he raised me. Like my mom and my daddy in my life. Like I, it, I'm not. I'm not one of the ones that be like, oh, I ain't have a daddy or I have mommy. I, I had both my parents, but my dad was just in and out of jail, so my mama was raising me. And but my daddy just never had me like for just a long period of time until he even raised me. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, he just always been my daddy. You know, I know I respect him because you know I'm, I'm his son. Mm -hmm. But like, like he just was in and out of jail a lot. So did he drop any jewels on you that you can always reflect back on or ever think about to yeah. say that you know what my daddy told me this and this is what I live by? I mean, my pops told me. Uh, like just is he real big on snakes? Mm -hmm. He real big on snakes and rats and you know so he don't trust. He real big on trust. So he tell me every day like just watch out for the people that you that you hanging with because somebody could like that you really think that you riding with or dying with they could go snitch on you. You know tell tell what you done had going on in education you know, just to get them a list. That's time. Right. But y'all was rocking together. I was in it together, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, just, you know, uh, or you had somebody to kill you. So you, you look know? out for that all the time? Yeah, I look out for that every day. Every day I wake up, I got to look out for Your daddy told you the truth, nigga. Uh, mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> he ain't lying. Every he ain't never lying. Every day I wake up, every day I wake yeah, up, you, I'm yeah, for it. But you sure. got pretenders out there that are so good that it's hard to really, you know, differentiate the difference. Mm -hmm. Ah, for real. You, you, you just said a lot right there, it's a lot of pretenders. So you can't even tell who, who real. Yeah. But, um, okay, so your mom, but how long was she in prison when she had, before she was able to hold you after that? Um, I think like three to five years. Wow. Mm. That must have been hard on her. Three, by like three to two, two. Yeah, like something like that. But you yeah. were so young that you don't even remember yeah, any of that. Yeah, I was just that. young, yeah, but I don't remember. But she did like some years, though, for sure. Then they had to write the judge and tell her that my daddy would kept going in and out of jail and who going to raise us and, you know. So and she got, oh, that's cool. That little yeah. So when did you find your love for music? I found my love for music back in like 2016. How old were you? 16. Okay, so you found love late in, cause a lot of people always say, oh, I started this when I was eight. Nah, nah, niggas ain't rapping when they were eight. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Sweeney was the one that influenced you. Yeah, Sweeney I, I, was yeah. the one that did it for me. Yeah. How did he influence you? He was the you? one that, that just, you know, made sure that, like, I got in the studio, you know, like, they was doing songs and they was going way harder than, you know what I'm saying? So then they'll be like, Strap, come get on the song, and they know I don't. They know I'm rapping with a deep voice. I don't really know what I'm doing. They still putting me on songs. You know, he still, you know, so he, he, was, he was motivating me for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He motivated me. He motivated me for sure. A lot. Wow. And, and so I know it was, uh, he said, feeling like a rock star, Sweeney. You know, that song, it had a, it, right now it's over a million views, but it's like, um, that was after he had passed, right? Yeah, that was that was out the out the path. Yeah, yeah. But but that song was dope, man. It's I still it. man. So how did y'all come up with that? I really didn't even come up with it. My 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 um my brother came up with it. Okay. You know, so they let he he came up with. It. I think one day he was he was just listening to some music. He came. He was like, I got a, I got a song. The, uh, Pimp, the one who wanna who 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 wrote who wanna who rapping the chorus, the one who sang feeling yeah, like yeah 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 yeah. He the one who came like I got a. Got a song, you know, this, this. so we hearing it. He going out. We go make the song. So we make the song. We drop it and it just blow up. Wow. Post that, it on yeah, time. yeah, and and it just that that I think that was heavy, man. When I think about you know uh, the way that 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 it's jamming right now. Mm -hmm. Like when I listen to it, 
today, today nigga. Yeah, yeah no, nigga, I, I just listened to it today. I didn't just been, I ain't been listening to nah, it like that. I, I ain't gonna lie. I tapped in, you know, Sean Cotton, all of them been on this show. Uh-huh. And uh, I went down that hole looking and see who you was. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, let me find this nigga gonna come on with Ball Star 101. <laughs> yeah. You know, he gonna show up on my platform. Come on, ain't no then way. when I looked, I seen you on uh, uh, Dirty Glove mm-hmm. Bastard. I seen you. I was like, this nigga been working. Yeah, I mean, so I was this. excited about that because you don't really, these niggas coming on here, they ain't got no catalog, my nigga. Yeah. I'm going to be real with you. They coming on here, they light, nigga. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> what the old school nigga call them light. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, they they're light, light nigga. And you know, they ain't got enough, enough essence to them yeah. to even uh, have a, you know, like a, 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 a good conversation. Mm-hmm. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. You know, I got a whole bunch of stuff here I can talk to you about. But a lot of time, people is, is is flexing with fake views. They don't have no no. They ain't got no manager either. A lot of time, these niggas are just showing up, and yeah. you know, and then when they get here, they, you know, they we talk with. They ask can they come on the show. They come on the show, and some of them don't don't are not equipped. How important is it to have a good team around you? It's, it's very important because without a team, you are gonna fall. Like a lot of people think that they can do it by by themselves, but you can't you can't do this by yourself for sure. Like. Unless you just know somebody, you know, and they and you just didn't do it by yourself because they knew the person, you know. You just yeah. can't. It's you can, but I feel like not right now. Like you can't. People can't really, you know. So. But to you, what having you, a team? Oh, sorry. Go like, ahead. No, you all right. Having a team, like it's because you gotta have. Okay, you gotta have security guards. Make sure you don't get touched. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of hate and a lot of envy, a lot of hate and a lot of jealousy going on. So you gotta make sure you got security. Then, you know, you got to make sure your boy's right. You know, everybody that's hanging with you, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You got to mm-hmm. make sure they're right. No flaw in them. You know, Bro, you I right just there. had a conversation with a nigga that's with, I ain't going to say his name, but he with some very important people. I said, look, man, you got the wrong niggas around. Why you take them niggas with you? <laughs> he was like, he, I'm, I didn't think about it. If they ain't holding a camera, if they ain't doing something of uh, to try to support what you doing, them niggas don't need to be with you. Nah, I'm the dude that be telling these niggas the truth. I'm the one. You didn't. Nah, I be get, they call me and I let them know. You know, like that ain't the way you move. Especially around niggas that been in the industry like that for all these years, and they watching you, and they gonna play you how you play yourself. Mm-hmm. And you got to be smart enough to be a good businessman, even though you young. You still got to be able to watch paperwork, do business, and sure. stand in the gap. And don't sure. matter about your age, because nigga, they'll chew you and eat, they'll eat you up and spit you out. Ain't that the way they say it? I'm talking about the industry, life, yeah. and all nah, that good sure. stuff. Nah, for sure. You, you, you speaking. You, yeah. <laughs> so you speaking so I, I I definitely love the way you, man, I love the way you carry yourself. I'm not playing, bro. I, I don't watch. Because if I, I seen it. some flaw, nigga, I'd be talking way different. Because yeah. I, I get on here and act up. If you go, you when you watch, you're going to nah, be like, I'm watch when I leave. damn, that nigga, that was good on me, because that yeah. nigga be tripping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, I just I just want to see our people win so much. You know what I mean? Yeah, me too. You know, I, I just I, I want to see the city come together. I've had everybody on here telling them how can we bring the city mm-hmm. together. That's my main thing. How can we do it? You know, I know everybody gonna have the issues, but when it come down to it, when we do the music, when it come down to the business, nigga, let's forget about all that. Push it to the side. That's why I like Atlanta because I, I feel like they a lot of time they put the music before the issues, mm-hmm. and we got to get there. And we're not there yet because we don't have the right people in the right places to make sure that the structure is there. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I look at all that, man. I've been doing business a lot. I've just still been here 15 years, man. And I done had a, a seven of them in Dallas. Oh, yeah. right. Yes, sir. I ain't playing my, I'm mm-hmm. old, nigga. Yeah, it's I'm <laughs> Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, no, I'm an old nigga, man. Nah, so I've right. been, you know, I've been around my my kids that were raised up in here. We opened this up for our kids, so you know, for they have know how to be work, you know, uh, business owner, people. business owners and uh-huh. stuff, entrepreneurs. That's yeah, what's that's, that's hot right now. That's hard for sure. Yeah, but now you you definitely dope, bro. And like I said, when I watched you, you answered the questions the way they needed to be answered. Talked about not talking about not not speaking on the dead, not saying the wrong but things. I have a question about going back to the rights of the people around you. Okay, what um, are the details that you look for in the right set of people? Because a lot of times people have an entourage of people, or people have a camp with them, but they're yes people. Uh-huh. Yeah, anything you say, they do. Uh-huh. They're not actually trying to say if you're doing something that they don't think is best for your brand, they, uh-huh. they're not going to stand up to you and say, you know what, no, let's not do it like this, do it like that. Uh-huh. So what? Do you look for in a? And I just re- I, I look for I don't I don't want to be like okay how can I say this okay like hold on because I'm trying to think right now can you tell me one more time tell me you say I look what do I look for in the group yes okay, I look for 
I really just look for solid. For so, I really don't gotta look for nobody else. Everybody I got around me, I already, I already solid. They already, they already tell me if something is not right. They gon' they gonna let me know. I'm not gonna just make a decision that they not there. You know, that's they they not gonna let me to be like no nobody I be with. Not just gonna be like, okay, I'm finna I'm finna, I'm finna do this. I'm finna go over to these apartments. Man, you better not go over there in them apartments. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, nah, you ain't finna go over in them apartments. You crazy? Okay, I'm a, might reconsider. You know, might. You know, so like it's 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 good to have strong minded people on your team because you don't need nobody that's yes man because like they I mean they following you. What if what if you not right? What if you leading everybody to the blind? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like what if you you know what if you the blind from the start leading the blind? You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you can't be that. No, you gotta be the. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be you gotta be the you gotta have people that's. That's 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 already equal. That's how I, okay. That's a good way to see. You need to have people that's equal. Right. Everybody need to be equal. Not nobody over this man. Nobody over this man. Everybody got to say so. Everybody got something to. To you know offer what I'm to like, the yeah. So so it's not like the Bible says it like this. It says this is a body that a body fitly jointed together. So the eye ain't no better than the nose. The nose ain't no better than the hand. All the body is needed in order to work together. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think the main thing you saying is everybody has to be able to. Do what they do and do it yeah. well, yeah, that's and, it. and and that, and play that's their position, it. That's right? It. That's it. All you gotta do is play your position well. That's it's all you gotta do. <laughs> and you'll do your you part. Do yeah, I'm gonna do my part. <laughs> do my part. Do my yeah, part. man. For man. sure, you can ask LD. She gonna do it. Everybody can do what they it. do. I mean, I'm gonna do my part, man. Be, do you consider yourself a all rounded artist brand? I should say because, or are you just an artist? Because as much as you have a camp around you, that's designated to you control the paperwork, you control this, you control that. But at the end of the day, do you know how to do everything that everybody else is doing? Or are you just performing? I mean, what, what do you mean? Uh, like every, every Meaning, because like, like I have a lot of artists who come on and they say they have to research uh -huh. and know paperwork, legalities, uh -huh. everything, although they have a lawyer. Uh -huh. They still have to know these things because, you know, you never know when somebody trying to screw you over or uh -huh. overlook something because people are good what they do, but we're all human beings. Sometimes you have to back up yourself. Mm. Do you study and research your brand to make sure that you can push it no matter what? If, if LD, God forbid, some, you know what I mean, she had to move around or she got rich, she hit the lottery. I, we had a lady that hit the lottery. Uh, shout out to Sandra in Los Angeles that hit the lottery and quit. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah Barabba, yeah, she, exactly. she quit, but she came back. Quit. Yeah, her mind was strong enough. Yeah, nigga, you back now. Yeah. But anyway... <laughs> After the millions is gone, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but yeah, like if she hit the lottery, she left, and you 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 got to do her part now. You know what I'm saying? How do you feel that space? You know, you you got to be able to bridge the gap until she get back, cause she coming back. She gonna blow the million. That's what yeah. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But would you be able to handle that? That's yeah. what that's what she's asking. Yes. You. Yeah, I would. Yeah, because you'll make sure to hold it down until she get for back. For sure, cause pressure <laughs> pressure is nothing already. You man. know what I'm saying? Like pressure make people. Who they is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I really, I really like pressure because I do well. It make you better, pressure. don't you? You know what I'm saying? I do. I, I, you find out who you like, cause pressure gonna come for the rest of your life. So if you already up under pressure, that means you already know how to handle it. So you need to, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you know. Yeah, you just got to be able to transition yeah, in the midst be, of whatever's yeah, happening. Because, because, because it's gonna be there regardless. Yeah, man. So. You, yeah, I, I love your style, man. Like I said, I didn't listen to the music, man, and I'm gonna listen to it again and again. I appreciate it. I'm watching. Uh, yeah, watch yeah, watch yeah, 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 yeah. I, I ain't no. I'm not I'm fake, bro. Podcasts, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Die for sure. Oh, you I'm got watching. a lot of watching to do, nigga. I've been working, nigga. I'm I was, watching I, it. I was in. I was in Cali that last week. I be going everywhere. Man, it's it's everywhere. We got close to 300 episodes. Yeah, since January till now. So that's the dope part. Just oh, getting to meet everybody. Since January to now. And drop every damn day. You know what I'm saying? 300 view. I mean, 300 These niggas ain't working, B. That's, that's all I'm saying. They not. They not. Yeah. 300, that's out. We have so many more ways. Don't get a nigga out. all out being in there. Don't <laughs> yeah. get a nigga all out being in there. We backed up a little bit, but you know how it go. You know, yeah. it's still pimping, you know? Yeah. Yeah, either way, I don't give a Yeah. Nah, Man. for real. So, um, just, you know, uh, when you, you want to ask him something yeah. else. Because in one of your songs, um, you mentioned um, First Day Out. So, you were gone. Yeah. How long were you gone for? I ain't going to lie. If I ever go to jail, I'm not going to do more than three days. That's okay, it. so you wasn't in that long. Uh-uh. 
But you, but you got a chance to make that first day out. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Yeah, I can't like that. Make that I can't like that. that. When a nigga make that first day out, he feel like, oh yeah, I made it. Yeah, man. I can't write that on him. I said, I'm make me a first day out. Man. Now you and you, and that's good. You Some, smart like, business man. You're, sometimes, like I, I like to, I like to like play. I'm not gonna play with the music like how I rap, but like I might. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, just do something like that. You feel me? No, you did the right thing because your people love you, and I'm watching how you 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 you're an independent artist, right? So I don't know. You might know PG. P, is it uh, putting God first? PG L Shout came on here. He's from Atlanta. The nigga moved like a like a label, mm -hmm. like he would a label right now. When he came in, I don't know. The nigga flew down here, man. Mm -hmm. Pimped me out real good. Made a song for the show and everything. I ain't never seen nothing like this. The nigga was on it. Billboard came in with about twenty people. Yeah, billboards went up in the city. He did the same thing in Philadelphia. You know what I mean? Like, I like the fact that, and you look the same way to me. Like yeah. the way that when I look at you online, I'm telling you, it's like you already pushing like a label behind you when you. Independent, and yeah. I think that's dope, bro. Yeah, appreciate that. You know what I mean? I appreciate that. So a lot of people don't, 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 don't say that because you know they ain't like, like me, nigga. I'm smart. Like, that's yeah, all. Yeah, I can just yeah, tell yeah, you the truth yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, they ain't interviewing like me. Yeah, I, I'm yeah, over here competitive yeah, as hell. Nah, for sure. like, <laughs> that's how you supposed to do it, though. Supposed that's what you do it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Do you intend to stay independent? I'm gonna stay independent for as long as until until I feel like they saying something right that I want to do because I can keep. Doing what I'm doing now. I'm getting views already now. I'm doing shooting real videos now. So if y'all not talking about the right thing, then I'm not. I can't. I can't. So I don't know. I don't okay. know how long. I'll go ask him, did he break that TikTok algorithm yet? Yeah, nigga. I got 20,000 followers on TikTok. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, nigga. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got, yeah, a million. Me yeah, yeah, a million. <laughs> yeah, that's because I use girls. I probably got two. Nigga. I probably got two girls nah. on there. Put them girls because he ain't working it. He ain't on there. Nah, and got all he and he, nah, Instagram though. And he, he got to work all platforms. And he proud too. He ain't gonna get on the live and say, "Say y'all niggas go over there and get on my TikTok." Yeah, I, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause they love you. They gonna do it. Nah, all tell, you if you say the word, I'm they gonna do it. it. I'm gonna tell you what it really is. I don't know how to work it. I yeah. don't know how to work Man, it. Man, I'm gonna tell you. I know I'm gonna set up for two hours. <laughs> I put my phone up and try to do the little dance. No, not my you. Song. Do you don't have to do all of that. No, no, no. We we. we you get L people who LD are LD gonna, gonna set you up Get you some damn Get somebody to dance now, L, Don't you do it And get that song popping and, 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 and then once she That song already popping Whatever mm -hmm. song you pick Cause all of them going crazy on YouTube yeah, appreciate You know what I'm saying yeah. You so got all no you gotta TikTok do, influencers Exactly You just get them And then let them do the dancing them do Cause it. they already got the followers For sure Yeah and that's how you do it And then your song go viral mm -hmm. <laughs> But it, it, it's, a, it's a process right it's a crazy process because everybody trying to shoot for every avenue. Mm -hmm. Every yeah, avenue yeah. is an opportunity, right? Yeah, you know. Every right. avenue is an opportunity. I was telling one, was it a, a couple of people? I know the little girl that came on here. I don't do uh, this Facebook or one of the dudes. I don't do TikTok. It's just like you opened the door and looked in the room where people was that might have accepted you and closed the door and said, I don't want to fool with them. Mm -hmm. You lying to yourself. You need to do all things to, because there's people in those avenues that, you know, they're going to rock with you. You talented. It's not it's that nice. they don't do it. it. The problem is it takes a lot of time. People don't realize how much effort it takes to go from this media to this media to this media and to post all of these this, different things. And plus, you still have to do your daily work, whatever you're doing. It takes a lot of time. I agree. I agree a lot of people that. don't want to spend that time half of their day trying to set social media up. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, you. I've been married to you for twenty years, nigga. I'm not gonna agree, disagree, nigga. Hell, I look like over here disagree. I'm trying to go home and be happy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> I, we be crazy. tripping, man. Yeah, he crazy. <laughs> what the hell? I like disagree. <laughs> <laughs> but no, man. So, so you you don't have no kids or nothing like that. Nah, I'm zero. Bro, that nigga there, ready? Zero, that nigga there being what you be in ATL? Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, I dang. Mean, Watch man, out man. for this nigga when he come through, man. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, 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 <laughs> look, yeah, young nigga, man. I don't even know how old are you. I'm 21. 21. 21. Man, you know, I'm going to tell you something. Warty 2 Live was on here, man. He died right after, uh, you know, right uh, after his interview here. I, just, I seen it. And uh, you seen the, you didn't see the interview here, uh, though. Uh, I didn't see it. I seen it on the... Uh, yeah, he was here. He, and, and, and it's crazy because it be happening so fast. You know what I mean? And one thing that I told my wife the morning when they called me because I was called soon as that it was, I was in real time with it. Yeah. And it was like, what did, did I say the right thing to him? Did I, you know, because that's what I'm here for. Yeah, I'm here to. I'm. I th I know God put me in here to say the right thing to young people that come through this platform. Ah, for sure. Cause I, I'm real with it. Yeah, they probably don't know what they what they what they here for, but they gotta 
They exactly. Got a, they got a. They got a mind. They got. A, they. They know what they're for. But they I just went, don't. I, I went back and pulled the, the clip, and we talked about blessings and all type of stuff, mm-hmm. man. So I felt good about that. You know that I did get to use that opportunity. So I would never not take the opportunity to to talk with you and love on you. You my. You know you my guy. You here. You don't have to take your time out and come over here, man. We appreciate you for that. No, I That's what's different about Boss Talk One Hundred and One, bro. Appreciate y'all You're, having me. Shout no, out. you you didn't you you. Hey, man. Everybody loving you. So I know. You took your time out to come over here. You and LD, man. Y'all, hey, man, shout out to LD who come nah, for, through. For sure. Yeah, for show sure. a nigga LD. love, man. Come you know what I'm saying? For sure. <laughs> for sure, she gonna come through for sure. Yeah, man. Thank you so much, man. Go ahead and get him. Okay. Let's bring him in because I want to get in this music a little bit before we let this guy out of here. Nah, for real. Man, hey, this is how we do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Every time. It's nah, going like down, it, man. I like it. I like it. It's hard. <laughs> I like this, man. I think it's a little different, man. We just more organic. We just it have is. talk. I like it look, it's a conversation. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's, <laughs> all you got to do is just start a conversation. That's like it. That. Start a conversation and just keep, just, all you got to do. That's it. It ain't hard. I man. think everybody else, they try to broadcast and hit points too much. Nigga, quit think being so hard. serious, nigga. Think too we hard. We having a good time. Uh-huh. Um, so, man, the music. I wanted to get into the to the music, man. It, it, that that this the one song that that everyday four twenty, my nigga. Everyday four twenty. man. What the hell is four twenty? But I don't even care, nigga. I just everyday four twenty. Yeah. I thought it was one twenty because that's what uh, Eric Thomas be saying. You yeah. got to be one twenty. I said, no, nah, man, my nigga, shoot. Hey, man, <laughs> BFG said you got to be four twenty, yeah. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so what is what Every is the, the four twenty? Man, you know, like you know, like when you smoke, it's a date, right? It's 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 the it's the, it's the you know four twenty. Oh yeah. oh yeah Oh okay That's the in the world yeah, Look this nigga know man. Cause he's a straight uh, uh, Yeah he, yeah, he on it now hey, my, birthday, <laughs> my, my birthday is 417 Is it? You nah. think I don't like 420? Say, man, nah, check nah, it, man. I love it. So we, the, the, my, my guy's in the, Money Moses is in the building now. He, yeah. he just stepped in. He wanted to talk with you, chat with yeah, you, chop nah, it up a little sure. bit. Like that. What, what, what you got for Money Moses? I'm like, hey, you made a video four weeks ago about, about seven. Why? Uh, uh, oh. He goes uh, straight in. I mean, I mean, you said about, about him? Yeah. Nah, I think I ain't make a video about him. Really, like I ain't, yeah, I ain't gonna talk about him, but you mentioned him. You know. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Type shit, cause yeah. really, cause bro, on the internet, I don't really like playing the internet, bro. I don't like that shit. So if somebody ever get on the internet and they say something about me, I'm you know what I'm saying? Cause in this generation right here, that's what that what niggas on. They on the internet with it. They gonna try to make go to the internet first and make somebody look. Like they the, they the, you know what I'm saying the weak one tell your side of the story first you know what I'm saying yeah but I ain't I, I wasn't even gonna get on Instagram I wasn't even gonna say nothing. I wasn't gonna say nothing period that seemed like not even your character anyway yeah, I'm to not be honest gonna, with you uh-uh. that's the reason why I asked because yeah. you don't like that uh-uh, so yeah, why you nah. address it because then, like, I really like I really know him and when you really know somebody that you re- once you really know somebody you know what I'm saying you know like but why are you playing like this? But let me let me say this. I gotta say this, man. Don't let nothing trick you out of your position. Nah, for sure. L- let me tell you something, man. When I when I tell you you great, and when I tell you you got so much more potential than everybody else around you in Dallas, I'm being real. Yeah. I don't really care who hear me say this, bro. I'm telling you, yeah. the way your the way your people follow behind you, the impact that you have. Don't let and I tell people this stuff. Don't let the devil trick you out of your position, brother. For sure. You understand that? For sure. If you, I mean, I was. Do you even live in Dallas? Nah. Because I was thinking you didn't. Because good. You know what I'm saying? And I'm the reason I say Dallas. it's good is because, you know, you gotta you gotta go out and and, and deal with other different people to let them see your talent nah, as well. Nah, for sure. Because everybody in Dallas know you good at what you key. do. That's the key. You gotta go. Then you gotta go to the next city to take over that city. Then hopefully you move that's to correct. the next city to take over that city. You know. Just do, just, just, I just do it in clothes, but it's the same thing. Like it's if you get New York, Florida, way over, they gonna know me. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you thing. know, um, so what made, what inspired that song? You know that Everyday Four Twenty. Like what? The, who who produced it? Uh, Stones. Stone produced a lot of your music. Yeah, most of it. Every, like really everything. Like, nah, most of it. Most of majority it. of it for sure. He dope. Yeah, you are. I mean, your beats be coming through. I be like, this nigga right here. When I, I listen, I'm telling you, I, I had just like, and don't feel bad. Because when Chose came on, on here, I didn't know his stuff either. And I'm old, nigga, so y'all going to have to forgive me. DJ Chose came on here, uh-huh. and uh, my wife and me was here. You remember that? And he, I was like, damn, man, I don't even know none of this stuff. My son knew it, but I didn't know it. So yeah. don't be mad at me, nigga. I'm just telling yeah. you dope because I went. I had to, LD hit me up. I had to go check it out. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. And when I did, I said, this dude really got talent. Because 
Because you see so many other dudes that be, they don't have the catalog. They don't have you. I go through the months, your visuals, you consistent with them. You mm -hmm. ain't just throwing the one thing up. Some niggas, I look at their stuff, they ain't did nothing in three years. I have niggas that call me that ain't did nothing in three years want to get on this show, bro. Yeah, I'm no, not playing. My inbox full of that shit, too. It is. And I'll be like, I can't do, how I'm going to do the damn interview? We're going to talk about. Yeah. Exactly. But, your, but your music, man, everything that you, everything that you doing, what about Parlay, man? What's up with that, man? I mean. How did you, how did you process that? Well, uh, with Jason, really because, like, the Parlay, the, like, which, like, 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 you mean, like, how I made the song. Yeah, how you how made the even song. Came about. Yeah, yes, sir. I mean, like, the whole song came about through LD because LD, she know Jason. You know, the okay. one who made the beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like Nico, Jason, H, you know, all yeah. them, you know, Vino, all them, my people. You so know, she locked I, in. Yeah, them, my people. You know okay. So, you know, she, like, one day she, she was in Atlanta. She was like, you got, you got a studio session. We go in there one day and shit. I hear some her niggas making beats and shit, but everybody really fucking with bro, but I ain't even know who. You didn't even know, know who he was. Like yeah. I did shows. Yeah. And like I didn't know you. Yeah, nigga, you yeah. just like me. Yeah, Thank nah, you. for sure. For <laughs> sure. So I'm like, damn. I'm like, you didn't even know you that hard. I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know, fucking with bro. So, you know, like, I, I go up and I, I hear that motherfucker. I'm like, oh, man, this, this, this nigga, this the nigga who make the beats for the baby. Yeah. Hell yeah. Come on, put the, put the, put the, put the beat up, man. We, we pick us a beat. We just, me and Stones get in there and cook up. Just. That's why them niggas say, they, in your comments, I was reading, they say, he, he like the baby. He sound, yeah. They be saying that. Yeah, that I don't exactly, know why, though. Because exactly you got your own style, bro. Nah, I'm being sure, real. I, sure. see, I hear it. For you sure. listen, they, they don't sound like the baby they probably, say I, no. I, they probably yeah. say I sound like the baby because they, a lot of people say They I listen look. at that beat or, 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 or you look, look like, like him. Yeah. yeah. I know for a fact your music is different. Quite different. Your yeah. cadences is different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and and they and they good. You yeah. know what I'm they saying? They voice almost the same though. Huh? They voice almost the same. Sound a little, little bit alike? Yeah. Yeah, let, okay, so and, and I'm gonna get on that. I'm gonna get on I'm gonna get on your uh deluxe, your strap for president for president deluxe. Yeah. But we ain't gonna go go there just now. What about the, the hunger game? What what's up with that? Hunger game, man, that's that's a badass. That's a badass song, man. I really, I like that. I said song. that beat slapping. Yeah, the beat hard. You know, every beat I'm gonna pick on beat hard. Yeah, <laughs> I can, I can, I can tell you. I got a list of beats right now. You know how to pick them beats. Beat. Yeah, I know. Some I people really, have problems with I know that, how to so really that's a pick gift. Beats, like yeah. I can sit in here and like really pick beats, like yeah, to rap on, and I'm rapping on all of them, and then it's gonna be hard. I know the ones not to rap on. Bro, you a trip too. I was listening at your lyrics. You would bring up Ricky Rush, nigga. You went to high box, yeah. Yeah, man. I said, this nigga keep bringing up Ricky Rush on these damn lyrics. <laughs> yeah, now you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta really know about high box. I know, I know about, about it. I, I used yeah, to go over there. Yeah, yeah, people gotta really know like that late night commercial that used to come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know while you sleep, you know <laughs> two, three o'clock in the morning, nigga wake up. What in hell do you want? Where, <laughs> yeah, that's where so his commercial go, man? I, I did my know. nigga dirty, bro. He, well, he had the commercial, then he had the billboards. He was, yeah, he, he, he was, was jumping going crazy. there for a minute. He wasn't in Dallas. I was just over there. That's why they buried, you know, what it was. That's why when you said something in your song, I told my wife, I was like, you said something about sending you to uh, Ricky Rush or something, and it was about beer. I was like, dang, we just left there. I just, you know, Friday. Yeah. Because that's why we went to the funeral. But then when you said that, I'm like, he telling the truth. Like, that's yeah. where they have to go. Like, yeah. the youngsters relate <laughs> to him. Real, you know that, right? Real, though. The youngsters, that dude, that's who he, he relate to, and that's where the young, they take the young folks. Yeah. Yeah, and I hate that, man. I hate to see our young men, you know, leaving out so early. Oh, for sure. That's why I got to keep your head on. Man. You got to move around. You got to be smart, man. But you you smart because you said something. I heard you in one interview with Say Cheese because I, I try not to never not say people's name. When I hear something, I give them their credit. I love everybody. But you said uh, you was like, uh, you got to be careful what you say. Yeah. Because you, you speak things into existence. It's a real thing. That's, that, that's so true. That too. And like, you got to be careful what you say. Like, just about anything right now, like me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't be running around saying "fuck this nigga." You know what I'm saying? Like, like no dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't be. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta watch what you say. You gotta shit. watch what you say. You know what I'm saying? But I, I say that because, like, like, I, like, like, because, like, I say the fans wise. I'm not saying it as no. No nigga, you know what I'm saying? Gonna do nothing to nobody. I'm saying like you gotta watch it for the music wise. You gotta watch what you say for the for the people. You yeah, know what I'm saying? They'll flip what you say. To yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's what they did on uh, with 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 the baby about that uh, speaking on the LGBTQ or exactly. whatever. They you made it more saying? than what it what, it what it was that's supposed really to be. Good, that's that's really my that's really a good example. Like 
Yeah, that's the watch what example. you say. Yeah, that's the perfect example. Because the thing about that, what nobody know, car sucking dick outside. Nobody. Uh-huh. And why they get mad about that? I'm gonna uh-huh. think he said, if you're not outside sucking dick in the car, put uh uh make some noise. Uh-huh. Who's outside in the car sucking dick? Nobody. Uh-huh. So wow. what's wrong with it? Wow. Nobody. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Ain't that something? Yeah. <laughs> Then he said some shit like the uh the, the if you ain't got HIV yeah, yeah. or something like that. That's what rubbed head. everybody wrong. That way. rubbed them wrong too. Cause there's somebody out there that do got that shit. All ah, them people out there. <laughs> shit, that's what started rubbing people the wrong way right there. But, but I understand that. But if all them people, I bet I bet you now time nobody in the audience said nothing about none of that stuff happened. It went on. It's the people in the industry. Yeah, it's how it is. So, so it, ain't had, it ain't got nothing to do with the fans out there. It's like the people in the industry. They gay. How you moving, man? With with Spot em, Got em just got shot like several times. Car was shot twenty two times. How are you moving out here? Are you moving with precision? I mean, I ain't ever been shot. You know what I'm saying I I'm it. just gonna put that on. You know what I'm saying? I've been really doing this shit God's for a long been blessing, time. Yeah, I've been out here for a long time doing this shit. So for me not to be shot, I feel like you know, or you're in jail. I feel like shit, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm really blessed, you feel me? Because, like, I ain't gonna lie. Spot him, got him tripped out. But he, he was leaving the <laughs> studio or something, Spot what I'm saying. That man, that man tripped out, bro. Like, you gotta, but they say it was cause of road rage or some shit. I don't oh, think nobody. It, oh, really? Yeah, I think I think it was some road rage, like some yeah, they did car road rage. Did. So, so it wasn't even something that had to happen. It kind of just happened. Wasn't nobody looking for him. Oh, uh, no, I, don't, I, don't, I really can't even tell yeah, you. Yeah, we I just, really can't yeah, even Yeah, we speculate. Yeah, we just, we just going out where we just saying, <laughs> yeah, like, like, putting two and on, two on, together. On Instagram. Yeah. Six, you know? <laughs> but no, I, did, I do know that that came out, man. So, um, you know, that's why I say when you leaving, uh, whatever you doing, man, you just got to be seasoned and not let Satan trick. I told you earlier, don't let him trick you out your position, no, man. Just, you you forget millions of dollars and you forget tricked out of your position, really? Um, but see, I'm Bruh, so- I'll be so upset. Don't come back over here. I'll be mad as hell. I feel like I'm so excited because like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying if you don't get shot, that mean like, I'm not saying it don't mean nothing. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But- I don't went face to face and when did all this shit for real with a lot of people, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So for me to still be right here and still able to do this shit, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'll ask you something else. Like NBA Youngboy being so popular like he is right now, but being locked up. Uh, that's crazy. That's crazy. You understand what I'm saying? How do you think like the poo shices and the, and you know what I'm saying to be locked up right now? Fredo and Bans. and they and, and yeah, Fredo, and, and they and, and your career is up here. Everybody looking for you. They love you. Yeah. And you gone. I'm going to be a hundred shit. That shit just, it's a part of life. Like, okay, everybody is looking at you like a star, but they forgetting you a regular nigga too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They forgetting, yeah, you a star, all that shit, but you regular too. You, yeah. You, you, sometimes you get, get in your ways. Yeah. You get fucked up, so. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So. I think that's, I, I just, I always ask those questions, you know, like, Come on, man. You know, like you, you guys got. Yeah, how, how did it happen? How did that things happen like that? Don't they? Quick. Facts. People react, and then cameras is every damn where. Facts. I do yeah. not understand why these people don't see these damn cameras. Do you be tripping out there? Like, how in the hell these people don't see these damn cameras? You know, and then they bring the video out right after that. That's why. And I be like, damn. Everybody getting shot on the highway. Yep. Yeah, that's the new thing. Them the least cameras. Yeah. Wow, and, and, and nigga just gotta do See, it. That's the new thing. Yeah. The new yeah. thing, right? The only way you get caught on the highway if you got a uh, eighteen wheeler. That's the only way. Oh, cause they got cameras in there. Yep, that's it. Wow, well I tell you, man, my co-host is hell, man. Money Moses is out here checking for where our niggas getting shot. I can at. tell you, yeah, that, this listen, nigga is don't, a real don't gangster. Don't do nothing on George Bush. They got cameras, they got cameras <laughs> under every uh, under every bridge you go under. They got cameras every every single time. Like I yeah. look and see. Don't I don't do nothing no. Yeah, so. Let me, let me ask two. you this, man. Your top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Uh, my top three number one of all time. We're gonna go from one to three. Any genre. Any Num- genre. Number one is like from back in the day. I, I say look, look, I, look. Who one. you think your number one is? This is just your. This is you. It, it, number one, two, and three. Number one. I do everybody like that to come on the show. My number one is me. That's what I'm talking about. I heard it before. I, I it's, dope. It's, it's dope. It's dope, baby. It's dope. I like it. And I agree, me. man. You yeah. you got the room to say if that. I nigga. say me, then shit, me. Shit, number two? Number two would be Future. You like Future? Yeah, Future hard, bro. You ever meet him? 
Nah, I ain't. I, I can ain't. see you doing something with him. Yeah, that's my nigga for sure. But he don't well, even you know. You kill that. Man, yeah. you nigga, these niggas don't know who you is, dude. You better not get on that track with you, nigga. Yeah, you nah, from Texas, sure. nigga. Nah, I got my sure money on I, you. Nah. Shout out to future nigga, but I got my money on my guy. Really I'm not gonna play with y'all. BFG for the kill you. I nigga. really stamped this 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 Zelda shit though, you feel me? Like I really wanted it to be cause the way I make music now, I want it to be stamped like like that shit is him. You know what I'm saying? So if they if they can put this shit the face of this shit because it really it ain't really got no face right now. Yeah. The face of it, it, it ain't you know what I'm saying? It I already know that. So the it, it ain't got no face right now, so people telling me like, bro, your music. So you like, bro, you, you you got it. You know what I'm saying? You can be the face of this shit. Just really do it. Hard work, man. So so number three. Uh, I say Kodak. Kodak. That's Kodak my Black nigga. Black go hard. That's my nigga. That's my nigga. And that nigga and that nigga talented, ain't he? He hard. He talented. You surprised? How, you how, the baby. How, was you surprised when that nigga got out when he got that part and like that? Yeah, nigga, don't bring that yeah, nigga that up, bro. That up. is crazy, right? Like, yeah, that fucked me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Trump let him out. Yeah, yeah you niggas want to y'all keep hollering about Trump, but Trump let Kodak out. And yeah, that fucked me up right there. I said, <laughs> damn. I said that nigga. Oh, Kodak. it was. Oh, I'm gonna say this on air because I'm. You know, I'm just a, a radio guy. You know, yeah, nigga, yeah. Somebody done got got a little bread for that nigga. Yeah, that nigga well, ain't just get out for nothing. Nigga, uh, don't hell, play that. Nah, yeah, nigga, done had enough money. Nigga got money, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's all about the money. Y'all yeah, know Trump show. a businessman, huh? Trump a businessman. You nah, think he did? Sure. You think Everything he got some Trump money? Trump for money. Every single thing he did for money. Everybody he parted with some money. Why you think he got them people out in Fort Worth? They, they gay dude. They wouldn't give him no money. Yeah. But everybody yeah. else had money They got them up I agree I, I, I agree It was some It was some business involved mm -hmm. So let me ask you man What what can we expect On that on, on that When that deluxe drop Thursday night what's, what's going on with that Expect nothing but hits man We dropping number hits man It's going down I got nine hits On that motherfucker I, I, I already got wait. all of them hits But I just re-put Some I tried more to, I tried to trick LD And send me a few Of them old oh, man She ain't do it bro Man I can't man She ain't man. even do it bro yeah, Bro she ain't do it Like she ain't let it. She think I'm gonna leak The damn thing or something I'm not playing bro I ain't lying, nigga. I only see nigga leak. I ain't never learned how to leak stuff me like neither. that yet, man. Me yeah, she wrong, but she ain't let me get it, bro. You got she stomped down. Nah, yeah. <laughs> nah, she don't be playing about that music. Man. <laughs> so, so do you do do you feel like um, uh, this one here gonna be harder than the previous? This one right here gonna be I, every time I make something, it's gonna be harder. Be harder. Than, well, that's the be, way they talk, right, baby? It's gonna be harder than a, than a, than a, than the next one, for sure. Every time. Every time you work. Every it. time, cause. I'm not gonna do nothing but get better and better at time. It's practice is like going to football practice, going to basketball practice. Wow! If you keep going to practice, you ain't got no choice but to be good. You I, know what I'm I seen something you did. You went, you went up to New York and did a video. Yeah, you I, nigga, I be in New York, nigga. I know really? nigga. What? It's cold as hell. Yeah, hey, nigga, I'm out. I don't really just stay up there, nigga. <laughs> yeah, it's too cold. small. I don't yeah. like all them little old boxed up rooms. It's I can't cold, deal with know. that. But I, but business is good. good. Networking is good. But you killed it on the video. Yeah. yeah, but you did better in Texas, nigga. I ain't for to play nah, with you, sure, nigga. For sure, you know what I'm saying? I love Texas, man. I'm here for Texas. And man. then you mentioned UGK in one of your interviews, nigga. That made me love you even more. Yeah, nigga, I'm watching everything. You right? Yeah. Nah, for real. Nah, for real. I'm a Pimp C fan, bro. I, 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 I love UGK. Oh, yeah. I love yeah. UGK, man. I, 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 I love old school, bro. I love... I love like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I, that's just in me. I heard you mention it, man. Hey, man, I definitely. Uh, so if you could go back, and I'm gonna ask you this. But no, BFF. What's up with that? I didn't ask you about BFF. BFF. You said something on there about trying to f, f the bestie or something. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, 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 you a bad nigga, man. You you trying to do it like that, or you that just lyric? That you Not for real? Real life. That's real life. <laughs> That's real life. But that's lyrics too, though, man. It, it's a good time, right? Yeah, you know, I'm just being funny, man. <laughs> you know, I gotta go home. I gotta go back home. Man, so, hey, man, if you could go back to your younger you, and, then, and we're gonna wrap it up, but if, if you go back to your younger you, man, and uh, talk to that 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 14 year old to prepare yourself for where you was headed, yeah. what would you say to him? I just say you need to start right now. Go hard right now, hard as you can. You need to start right now. Yeah. Yeah. Don't wait. Need to be trying to do this right now, cause shit, I have more time on my. You know what I'm saying? The more, how the younger I was, I had more the more time on my hand I had. You know what I'm saying? I got. You know what I'm saying? So the younger I am, the more time I got. You feel me? So fourteen, shit, ah, shit. You know what I'm saying? If I would have started right there and been right here right now, I'd be a bad motherfucker. Be bad. You been talking you because yeah. you could see what was coming. Yeah. You, but you think you'd listen to yeah. yourself? Hell no. You 21 coming I, to a 14. He, 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 he wouldn't have listened. He would have had more studio time. We paid that fifteen dollars. 
Yeah, they, 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 oh, yeah. That <laughs> nah, for real. Nah, for real. But my studio time, fuck the end. I ain't gonna lie. If they fifteen dollars, I ain't pay them nothing else no more. Oh, God. <laughs> Swear to God, I put it on my life. I walk the nigga house every day trying to record. <laughs> well, tell, hey man, how can people? How can people get all to you, man? How can they find you? Man, you gotta hit me up on goddamn Instagram, BFG Strap Two A's. Every time you type, think about Strap. It's two A's, man. No typo. It's just two A's. That's how I did it. And you gotta go to Twitter, BFG Strap Two A's. Everything. And that's, that's all I got right there. Let me ask you something, man, because. You know, I ask. I'll be asking some questions. I ask most of the same questions. You good? When, when did you did you watch Boosie when he was on Breakfast Club? I think I did. Uh huh. Boosie fucked up. You no, think he not. did? Boosie fucked up. Why you say that? I just, I'm just, I'm saying Boosie fucked up. Like he's a fucked up nigga. Like Boosie fucked up, man. Uh, give me no, the spiel. I, he stands now, strong. Now I gotta hear this. What What, what do you think? Why is this, this a big fan? I like this. Now what? Why? Why do you think he messed up? I'm saying messed up on what? How? You say yeah. I'm talking about as far as why I'm would saying, you say? I'm saying he fucked up because like his his how he is. Yeah, like he, he wild, like, ain't he? He wild, he wild. He wild like, too though. That's why he from he Louisiana. Wild. He can relate. Yeah, it's my co-host. Yeah. Yeah. He did shit wrong, man. <laughs> That's how they live. Boosan, you, you know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with an interview because yeah. I fed him. You not finna put. You not finna push gay on. I ain't seen no interview. Well, what it was? It was an interview where they brought a gay guy. Up and no, and they were trying to push uh push uh gay stuff on kids, and he was trying to explain them. You y'all can't keep pushing on our kids like that. And he, 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 he trying to say he have he have a say so in his kid life for them not being gay. Well, Nas X uh, was was one of the main contributors of why he was saying what he was saying because exactly. he was pregnant on a couple of videos and stuff like that. Yeah. And so. kids gonna ask why, daddy? Like why? Why he doing this? Because yeah. they don't see it in real life no more. They don't see it ever, but they see it on the internet. They gonna ask daddy why He don't wanna answer that question I don't wanna answer that question My kid don't ever ask me that question I can't, I can't say do people Like the the straight And the gay agenda You know um, it's, it's it's something else It's a lifestyle You know what I mean Like mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's it's no different Than anybody else Doing whatever they do You know what I mean mm -hmm. So I don't trip over that part But what I do trip over is If there's not balance I always say that There has to be balance In this world In anything you do you can go out there right now and let that all run out of the car y'all came up in there. That engine's going to blow like hell. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about driving too far. It's, you, you know what I mean? So in life, you got to have balance. I do Not know that. Sure. That's one thing I learned. Hey, yeah. This, this the part I don't understand right now. If they want their kids to be gay, they're going to let their kids do gay stuff? What do you mean gay stuff? Like at, at that age. I mean. So how do they know what gay people do if they're they doing that stuff they do? Do you see what I'm saying? No, I don't. It's like like you got a 13-year-old boy. He's saying he want to be gay. How do you know what gay people do? On TV. Thank you. Yeah. Well, or, or people that he been around, or he feel a certain way about himself. But you going to let your son do it, though? You going to let him do it? As a parent? If what? your son come to you and say you, he's gay, you say, okay, that's cool. You, we gay. Well, my I son, accept, listen, listen, I accept that. But now he talking about doing what gay people do. You going to accept that? No. So you got to accept that. You know, he going to start doing what gay people do anyway. No, but I'm saying, though, that's how, that's how they push it up on the kids. That's how they push it up on the kids. Like, they, they'll say you can be gay, this and that, but then they don't see the consequences that come with it. A lot of times, like I said, when 13, 12, 10, when you start looking at those ages, it's a very complicated thing to talk about any type of sexual relationship, period. So that's a whole different ball game. Yeah, it's crazy. You know what I mean? But, man, thank you so much, man. I, I don't know why the hell we got over on that subject, but uh, that's Boosie. what happened on this show. Yeah, we just, yeah, boot, yeah, we just go. Yeah, that's, and that's hard. <laughs> that's hard. I like that. But, sure. no, but, but yeah, um, who, who, is, who inspired you the most? like To make music? Yeah. Shit, they inspired me the most. Maybe I'm talking about like Swinney. another artist or something. Oh, it was just Swinney. yeah, it was okay. just Swinney because okay. like so no just, big celebrity, nothing like that. I mean, I always heard he'll always be a big celebrity. I always heard how people yeah for sure. For mm -hmm. sure. I always heard how people rap like rappers that was in the industry, and I'd be like, man, these niggas rap like that. I can rap like that. Like you know what I'm saying? Like like not even comparing myself, but just like man, these niggas uh, they Thanks real rappers. Deal. Hey, real rappers, I can be a real rapper. I don't give a damn. If they if he can be a real if he can be a real I can be a real rapper. I don't give a damn. So, you know. Four years ago it was Yellow Bees and uh uh Mo uh, Three and uh -huh. five years ago, this is the people that you would actually see in rap. I mean and who else was it? It was trap. more trap. It, it wasn't many. That was hot in Dallas. Nah, it wasn't a lot. It wasn't a lot. Little was running it? motherfucker. That's my boy right there. 
You know yeah. what I'm saying? But he he definitely do some great music. But it wasn't many though, is what I'm saying. Nah, it wasn't. It wasn't at all. But then, but then you held your own, nigga. You knew you for to put this thing on the map, right? Nah, for sure. That's what I'm. Do you even be I'm saying for. Dallas like that in your song? Yeah, you know, yeah. you, you rep Dallas yeah, like that. They know I'm from Dallas. They know. What it. part of South Dallas do you be in? You you say you be in the South. I be in the South. I be like on Casey Street. I be like in photos in Linway. Okay, okay. No, over there. You know they messed that street up over there where the people can't go through there. And the, yeah, right oh, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. They messed up yeah, business over there, it, man. man. They messed up the black folk business. I don't like that. Man, they fucked it up over there, man. I ain't gonna lie. That her business is over there, man. No, for sure. They know what they're doing. Yeah, they trying to run everybody off, man. But yeah, I, really, I hate that. I really just be like indifferent. Like, because coming up, I, I was in... You was in the Grove too. Yeah, I was in the Grove too. Like I was in North Dallas too. Like I done been everywhere. Like shit, cause my I done lived everywhere. My parents, my mama done moved everywhere. So, shit. Excuse. Me. I was a kid. I, I couldn't stay in the house. Yeah. And so whenever we moved or whatever, I'm going right outside. That's how everybody knew me. Yeah. That's how everybody got to know me before I was even rapping. Like before we was even rapping, we was already known. Everybody in Dallas already damn near knew us. My parents, yeah. They no, already damn near knew us. So it's like. Yeah, you did that Shawty Low song too. Yeah, R.P. Shawty Low. How, how you know about Shawty Low? You too young. To nah, come Charlie on, Lowe, man. man. Come my niggas on, be tripping man. me out, but y'all niggas, y'all the hell you know about Shawty Low? Come on, man. I I just know about him. That's my that's my that's my dude. I believe you too. Nah, I really <laughs> do. I really do. I really do. I'm no, like right. like when you like somebody, you start digging in. Yeah, the I'm internet right, make man. everything so accessible. But Thanks. when he passed away, you remember when he passed yeah, away? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that was crazy because. I hear all kind of stuff. Man, you know, man, Illuminati is all in everything. Let the niggas tell it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why I'm, that's why I'm, that's why I'm <laughs> <laughs> What you going to do when that major deal come, man, nigga, I'm coming to you with that $10 million deal, nigga, you going to sign them papers. You just sign act like independent. Fifteen twenty million. Yeah, nigga. Trying to act like yeah, 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 yeah. Let's wait till the white folks come. Yeah, when the white folks come with them dollars, you're trying to act like you're independent. When the white folks come with that fifteen million, tell you sign these papers. You and LD gonna be nervous as hell. Yeah, we're gonna have to read this shit for four days. Yeah, you gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for four days. You gonna have to read this shit for I will love y'all. No, too, real, man. real talk, Strap. I love, bro. My I'm life. Being, I'm being real, man. Not and real if you shit. in Dallas, man, don't, 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 do not pass go, nigga. Stop doing holler at me or either call me and say, hey, pull up. We over here, and and my team coming through. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Cause For we sure. pulled up in this thing some months ago, but we been everywhere doing everything with everybody, huh? And I'm it's a blessing. Still everywhere. Yeah, it's a blessing locking in with you, man. For Thank sure. you for coming on Boss nah, Talk One on One, man. We locked in, man. I'm Check back. it. I'm gonna come back. Check it, man. Yeah, next project is going down. Yeah, man. next we project we're gonna be back. We're gonna Already, be back. man. Hey, man, it's been another great <laughs> segment of Boss Talk One Hundred One.